This video will cover the topic writing equations of vertical and horizontal lines through a given point. We will be using the example problem finding the equations of the vertical and horizontal lines that pass through the point 6, 7. How do we do this? What are vertical and horizontal lines? Great questions. A vertical line is parallel to the y-axis. In the case of the point 6, 7, our vertical line would look like this. Its equation is always x equals a, where a is the value of the x-intercept of the line. In the case of the point 6, 7, our x-intercept would be at 6. This shows that a equals 6. We also know that a is the value of every point on the line. Let's test that out by looking at a few points on the vertical line and seeing what they have in common. What do each of these points share in common? Well, they all have an x value of 6. Exactly, we can see that all the points on this vertical line have the x value of 6 since they are all 6 units to the right of the y axis. So it makes sense for this line to have the equation of x equals 6. A horizontal line is parallel to the x axis. In the case of the point 6, 7, our horizontal line would look like this. Its equation is always y equals b, where b is the value of the y intercept of the line. In the case of this horizontal line, our y-intercept is at 7. This means that b is equal to 7. We also know that b is the value of every point on the line. Let's test that out by looking at a few points on the horizontal line and seeing what they have in common. What do each of these points share in common? They all have a y-value of 7. Great job! We can see that all the points on this horizontal line have the y-value of 7 since they are all up 7 units from the x-axis. So it makes sense for this line to have the equation of y equals 7. So vertical lines always have equations of the form x equals a, where a is the value of the x-intercept of the line, and horizontal lines always have equations of the form y equals b, where b is the value of the y-intercept of the line? Correct. Based on this information, we can find the equations of the vertical and horizontal lines that pass through our given point. Since the x value of the point is 6, the equation of the vertical line will be x equals 6. Since the y value of the point is 7, the equation of the horizontal line will be y equals 7. So just to summarize, to find the equations of vertical and horizontal lines, we look at the x and y values of our given point, and based off of those values, we write the equation of the vertical line based on the x value, and the equation of the horizontal line based on the y value. 